they're picking out the leaves as so they're browsing off a very specific plant and I don't know what it is but it's a forb of some kind in other words a sort of unidentified herbaceous plant as opposed to an unidentified grass well that could be a grass species and then eating the seeds which of course are very rich now an animal of this size, probably about twice the size of a steenbok, which most of you will be used to seeing at a place like Juma, is almost universally a concentrate feeder. And that means that they must be quite selective about what they eat. They cannot go and eat bad rubbish like say a buffalo or a zebra can because they're much smaller they have a much higher metabolic rate and therefore the quality of the food that they eat must be that much higher i'm just going to sneak forward unfortunately these cars are not the quietest and uh, well they've been known to put braver animals to flight so we'll just try and ease forward and try not to give them a scare there we go. Mrs. is now being very confiding, but Mr. not particularly brave. There we are. Now, we don't spend a lot of time with Oraby uh, on account of the fact they're not very common, and they don't often stand out here in the open. And secondly, of course, they also spend quite a lot of time in very long grass, so it's quite difficult to see them. And I suppose the most notable thing about their faces would be that gland just underneath the ear. She's now eating grasses, but she's picking off just the little seed inflorescences. Might very rich in fats, of course, one or two proteins. And she will get all the carbohydrate, of course, she needs from the leaves that she eats. But that's not the limiting nutrient. The limiting ma macronutrients, if you happen to be a, a herbivore, are, of course, fats and proteins. And that's why she'll go for the seeds. Now, John Michael, you're asking if the seeds will be damaged in digestion or if they'll sort of pass through and be fertilized into growth. No, I think they'll almost certainly be destroyed. The ruminatory process, so in other words, she's going to swallow those. She's going to regurgitate them back into her mouth when her rumen is full. So she'll go and find a shady spot, regurgitate them into her mouth and absolutely masticate them. So she will really smash them to pieces in her teeth. And what that will do is release the nutrients. It's very unlike a marula fruit, for example, passing almost untouched through an elephant's digestive system and then being fertilized by the dung and germinating. It's very unlike that. So almost certainly those seeds will be destroyed. I suppose one or two of them might make it through, but the very process of rumination will destroy them almost certainly. Righty, we're going to carry on, try and continue our search for the sausage tree pride.